This is my second attempt at making a video about this little gadget that I've made to help me tune concertina reeds. <clears throat> I've been playing about with concertinas now for about well, only a year and a half, so I'm not an expert. Um, I've repaired, I've rejuvenated a few lachinelles, which are about 150, 170 years old. Um, the one thing that has confounded me up till now has been how to tune the reeds and get them to concert pitch or somewhere like concert pitch to make the instrument player playable. So what I came up with what you're looking at now, which looks a bit peculiar, I'm not very good at woodwork, I'm very very bad in fact at woodwork, but I managed to knock this up so other people could do something very similar. Um, I got myself a very cheap lachinelle some while ago, um, it was almost scrap, I utilised some of the spurs from it and I was left with a set of bellows which had a few holes in but I managed to um, put some pieces of leather across the holes get it repaired, it didn't look very nice but I managed to use the bellows to make this now what it is, it's a piece of wood clamped to a table it's a top piece of wood shaped like this with a handle, this is felt on here on here we've got a one-way valve which is only a piece of plastic and a hole and here is the piece that holds the, the, vowel, the um, reed. These are the reeds, they're very tiny, I don't know if you can see it in focus on here, I think it's out of focus. But the reeds are very small, each one is a different note and each one needs tuning to the right pitch. Now on the top of here I've also stuck two bits of balsa wood in a sort of a V which takes the reed and holds it above two little holes. So when I pull this, the air is drawn down through the hole and makes the reed make a noise. That reed isn't sounding too well, but it needs a bit of attention. To make sure it gets the right note, well, I've also got one of these, which is a Yamaha YT250. And you can probably see on there that as I pull the bellows up, it tells you whether the note is sharp or flat. Well, you can't see because it goes above there. Not a very good illustration, but that's what I use anyway. I'll lay it flat on there, look at what it's reading, and when I get the right note after uh, adjusting it, I know it's uh, the pitch I need. To adjust it, what I use is uh, one of these, which is just an ordinary field gauge. That is used to support the reed. And then I can file very carefully the reed itself. If you uh, file lower down, it makes uh, the note, if it's too sharp, flatter. And if it's too flat, if you file the top, it makes the note sharper. <clears throat> Once you've adjusted it and tried it out, you can put it in again. See how it comes up on the meter. And once it's correct, then put it back in the reed plate. The beauty of this is you don't need to take the whole concertina to pieces for each individual tuning, what you in fact need to do is just take the reed pan out, go through each one of these separately, tune them, put them back in the reed pan and then put the reed pan back into the concertina and that way you're saving a lot of time instead of having to do that process each time you tune one of the reeds, put it back into the concertina, test it, bring it back out again you can test all the notes on this little thing, <coughs> saving an awful lot of time I perhaps haven't explained that as well as I could, but if you've got any questions, if you contact me on my website, uh, www.johnphotographer.co.uk, or on my email, which is johnphotographer at hotmail.co.uk, I might be able to help you. 
not very professional at this, it's only the second time I've ever done a YouTube uh, video so please be patient. Um, if you've got any questions or any more information you need I may be able to make another one of these just to help you out. Okay, thanks very much for uh, listening to this and looking at it. And you can obviously tell that I'm not a musician but I'm more of an engineer. Thanks a lot.